Ah oh, yes, uh, today, well actually tonight, I'm here to review Bruno. Now, I saw Bruno um, launch day actually, I saw it on Thursday in Australia, because Australia was one of the first countries to get it in the world. And I saw it with a group of people, and I have to say it's the funniest film I've seen all year. In fact, it's so hilarious. I mean, the thing is that these type of comedies are slowly dying, and that really scares me. Because a lot of fucking fat cat producers want to go for the PG-13 comedies, and they suck. Thankfully, this movie pretty much destroys everything you know about crappy comedies right now. Okay, so I'll start off by saying, okay, it has a documentary style to it, much like Borat. And that is very unique, and that's why this movie works so incredibly well on many levels. Now, there is somewhat of a plot to string it all together. Basically, he's an Austrian uh, model who pretty much fails, and he's pretty much uh, hated by all in Austria um, after a fashion show went horribly wrong. So he decides to go to America to gain fame and hopefully recognition. Now, uh, this is where it gets really funny because he teams up with his gay Austrian friend or whatever, and they go about trying to make a TV show, and the TV show is just hilarious. Uh, so basically, his show is an epic failure on all levels. He tries to get an interview with Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford goes, fuck off. I mean, that's hilarious. That was just downright funny. Then it's got, then it just goes, then it just goes to places where you're like, oh, they would not go there. But yes, this movie goes there. I mean, it's fucking hilarious. And then eventually, once he his show fails, he decides to discover that all celebrities who are straight actually end up with more success. So then he, uh, goes to a gay rehab and it's fucking hilarious and there's one scene where he has does something to a ghost i won't speak of, but it was fucking hilarious um every joke it's non-stop jokes 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 it's oh there are just so many memorable moments in this movie from when he goes hunting the rednecks to i mean even the finale is just downright brilliant um seriously i it's so, this is one of the best comedies I've seen in a very long time. And, I mean, nowadays, you, comedies don't go that extra length like this one does in terms of... Another great another great scene was the, uh, <laughs> so they're out of furniture, so they decide to use Mexicans as the furniture, and they come out with them nude and... Oh, it's fucking... I won't give it away. I give it 9 out of 10. My common complaint is that the runtime. Now, this has caused a lot of confusion with people in Australia. Okay, people are saying, what is the actual runtime? Has it been censored or cut down or something? Yes, it has been cut down. It's, I'm really confused. Okay, now this has really pissed off a lot of people. The film was originally given an R in Australia, which is the equivalent to an American NC-17. And that was how it was meant to be released. And it's Then a week before the film got released, it got an MA somehow. So it got cut down, which is really annoying when you think about it because the well i mean the r-rated version was the american r-rated version uh running in 80 odd minutes the ma version the one i saw in theaters was fucking it was only 70 minutes long and that's what's pissing off a lot of australians is the version i saw was incredibly short and it makes me wonder wait so the US version is 80 odd minutes and our version is only 72 minutes or something? I, from what I've heard, um, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of footage has been cut from our release, which kind of annoys me and fucking pisses me off. I didn't get to see the full version. So that's a downer for the Australian version. And nevertheless, even in its cut form, the movie was absolutely hilarious. I recommend you see it. See it immediately. It's brilliant. Absolutely genius. Fucking hilarious. Best comedy of the year, in my opinion. Brilliant.